Okay then gang, in the previous lesson we made a function to handle form submissions and we did some validation on the input values too. We also made this errors property which stores error messages for any input fields that failed the validation. For example, if the username field failed validation, we added a username property to the error and if the password failed, then we added the password property and so on. And all those errors get populated only after we submit the form, right? So now what I'd like to do is output those errors in the form template, if we have any, so that a user can see which inputs need correcting. And to do this, we need to conditionally output the error messages only if they exist on the errors object. Now, when we use Alpine, rendering some conditional template is really easy to do by using a directive called x if. But there is a small catch. We can't use this directive on any regular HTML element. It has to be used on a template element. So let me demo this and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So we need a template tag first of all. So let's make one of those. And then on this template tag, we can use the x if directive to check if a certain condition is true. So I could just check to see if we have a value for errors.password, for example. Now, if this password property exists on the errors object, then this will evaluate as true. And Alpine would then inject whatever HTML content was nested in this template into the DOM. And then if this ever became false, for example, if the errors object got reset, and the password property no longer existed, then Alpine at that moment would remove the nested content directly from the DOM. And that is important. When we use xiv, Alpine actively inserts and removes content from the DOM. It doesn't just show and hide it. There is a different directive called x-show, which we can use to only show and hide content, but we're gonna see that later in the course. For now, let's add some content inside this template tag. So the only thing we really want to do is output the error message that we attach, right? So whatever this is right here, and that is on the property itself. So errors.password, for example. So I'm going to create a paragraph tag with a class of error. And the reason I give it this class is because it's already styled in styles.css to make it red. And then also for this, we want dynamic text. So we use the x hyphen text directive and we set it equal to errors dot password so whatever that property value is and that's all there is to it so now what i'm going to do is copy this and i'm going to paste it underneath each individual input field so first of all up here the username we need to make sure we update this to be username that's what we're checking for and obviously this as well is username and then down here we have another one for the password the password confirmed so let's paste this in and this time it's password confirm and down here password confirm and then we have this one which is the belt color so let me grab that and this and change it to belt and then down here which one's this this is the bio let's do it at the bottom of this and change this and this to bio and then finally down here okay we don't need any error for the newsletter that is just a boolean toggle it's either true or false and there's never any kind of error with it. It's either unchecked or checked, right? So now we can save this and try it out. Okay, so I'm not gonna fill anything in and all the validation errors should show except for confirmed password, but the rest should show. Let's submit and yeah, we can see those. So the username must be at least three characters, password six, select a belt color, bio must be at least 10. Okay, let's fill some of these in. I'm gonna say Mario and then down here, we'll say test one, two. For the confirmed password, I'm just gonna say test one. And then for the belt color, we'll say white. Let's go for black actually. And then say, hello, I like toast. All right then, so let us submit this form. And now the only error we get is passwords do not match. If we add a two on here and click submit, all the errors go away and the form gets reset. Awesome.